to satisfy several sub requests, let's play seven volley matches with Luke using only 201 to 204 cards and nylon string in the 204 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 if you like this video. So you have seen here the volley build that I am using with Luke for the seven matches. And here are the stats once the cards are capped at level 9, which is the case in the 204. So let's go for the first match versus a high serve to strong hands Jonah. So of course Luke is not a character designed at all to play with volley. Plus my Luke is not even at level 9. However, some subs still wanted to see me play serve volley with Luke. And as you know, I usually play subs request videos in low tours with nylon string, where players don't use uh, other strings than nylon very often. So the least I can say is that, <laughs> well, that was not very easy. Look at that volley. As you can imagine, One. well, you can imagine that we ask again Monfis to play serve and volley like a Goran Ivanisevic. Well, he will do it, but the gameplay will, of course, be very different. So, volleying in a tennis clash with our maestro Monty is almost a sacrilege. Uh, that's above all not easy because it's not the natural style of Luke here. So he looks a bit clumsy when he does his uh, chip and charge. Looking like a boxer. Three. Running towards his opponent more than uh, a chip and charge. Or when he volleys, well, it just feels unnatural. If that was Leo or Diana instead of Luke, well, the volleys would be uh, pretty more incisive, even with the nylon string, I guess, because the volley stat would be uh, higher. Anyway, I guess that for subs, that can be fun, seeing Luke do his volley things, even awkwardly. <laughs> I am already a noob volleyer, so if now subs ask a noob to play with a character who is not made for volley, well, that's noob and noober here. Let's play versus a Joe now, putting the choker course on. He started the match very accurately with what players need to do to counter volleyers. Powerful down the line shots. That was a bit uh, tricky for him to counter the serves, and then I had my chance. Yep, hitting the body of the volley player is a good thing to do, especially when he has no Maestro Monty. And hitting that short cross court shot was exactly what you need to do too Three. to outflank the volley player. Yeah, some of uh, his shots were not incisive enough, so my look had a possibility to force him to trigger the long cash, and then I don't know what happened there. The finger was slipping, actually, I think, for this opponent. And then a connection problem to server. And my look was able to f end the match with an easy volley. Of course, when the opponent is not hitting back a very strong shot, well, that's easier for Luke, even with a 49 volley stat, to hit the volley back. Let's play versus an opponent putting the uh, Maestro Monty on, so of course, it would be very difficult. Luke will try to rely on his serve but to make the difference, One. to stay in the match, of course, first. 
And fortunately, well, they were not very fast, but they worked well. And putting the pressure on the opponent was helpful. He committed in for zero, but after wars, well, a bit like Mei Li in a previous video published on the channel, sub request similar video. But uh, Mei Li had better volley stats than Luke. Well, a bit like that, Luke is kind of a scarecrow on court two, two. in some situations where passing shots were very easy to hit for opponents. Fortunately, a lot of my opponents were not very accurate while shooting those uh, big forehand strokes. Yep, I was looking so much with those unforced errors. A Victoria! Decent serve, big forehand. Not too weak backhand. That would be hard, of course. Look at that. Fortunately, that was out, otherwise. Yeah, that backhand return was surprisingly weak. And another one for Sirar. I put the ball back on her, on this Victoria's backhand, which is her weaker hand. And of course, with the stamina, which is draining, that's not always easy to be uh, accurate, especially uh, on return of a strong serve. Things were going well. This is this victory that I, I'd have to be much tougher. Once again, you need the opponent to uh, commit those unforced errors. When you play with a character like Luke, with the serve volley style. Yep, I was not winning that match. That was a gift from my opponent. Another Victoria with um, quite a weaker backhand than the forehand. But I decided to hit on his forehand. Because I think that he would not expect me to hit on his forehand. Two, love. So it was cool for me, as this opponent was trying to hit very hard, but was committing a lot of double faults. And obviously, what serve volley players love is to serve fast and hard on the weak hand of the opponent. 224 kilometers per hour serve. Wow. Match point. Yep. So this opponent can serve very fast, can hit very strong forehands too, but the accuracy rate is not very high. Okay. That was not too bad. Thanks to a lot of double faults of my opponents. Leo. I serve two hands which are not very strong. And a lot of stamina points. But the thing is that if you put a lot of stamina points to play in low two as well, you don't have a lot of problems playing with nylon string, but... Uh, that is done at the expense of most of the time of your two strong hands. Three. You don't have strong hands anymore if you don't have high level cards. And of course, a noob volley player like Luke 
doesn't have a lot of difficulty returning not to strong shots of this low so it was not too tricky we're laying in this match but in previous matches whenever the opponent had some decent hands as well you couldn't have seen that that was not easy for him for Luke to put the uh, to put some volleys back all oh right first low down let's open this uh, classic pack nothing special of course I have already maxed out oh my come on and rare cards uh, from 2-1 to 2-7 so can't expect to have not already max out cards here yeah so easy One. to hit a good passing shot after a good serve but but well One. my Luke can hit good serves too enough Two. One. to make the exclamation mark appear on the opponent's head looks uh, we are not very fast Three, but one. you know if they are correctly placed they can annoy the opponent Three, nice down the line two. shot this is what you need to do but not this if you don't have a very strong shots don't hit on the volley player body Five, two. Even if uh, he's playing with nylon string only. Five, but if you have a strong shot, well, feel free to do it. Match point. Okay, with a strong serve, things are much easier, of course. Yeah. So as you can see, those volley matches uh, where didn't uh, last very long. Let's play now a match just for you to see how different Luke would play serve volley with the same cards, but using Maestro Monte this time. And as you are going to see, well, life is going to change a lot for Luke. His stamina is not depleted fast anymore, and the force is now with him. As he has the quick catch. Yes. And volley players in tennis clash love this quick catch. Everything seems easier for them when they have this quick catch on. And of course, Two. with the uh, stamina being depleted uh, more slowly, that's easier to... Uh, to hit smoother volleys you can clearly see that Luke doesn't fight anymore to return the volleys doesn't struggle too much plus my opponent was hitting hard but a bit inaccurately so that was much easier but well Having more stamina is definitely helping. That was just a match for comparison. You are going to see now the opening of this grand bag I just got. And you're going to see the lineup again. The lineup that I show at the beginning of the video. Where I hope you enjoy watching Luke play serve volley using two or four cards max and nylon string in the two or four of tennis clash a sports game published by wild life studios don't forget to subscribe to the channel gameplay tc5 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of tennis clash thank you a lot for your support and see you soon again play 365 bye bye